<clears throat> Hello YouTube, this is Coors, aka Corey P, aka Tired, just got off of work, honey. But listen here, listen here, listen here. We have got to talk about some things. Okay, girl, so rent is due. And my landlord is trying to double charge me for utilities. I don't know if I talked about this, but a while back, um, my best friend was, you know, he's just been coming over a lot. He really just had no place to go. Sometimes he would stay the night. Sometimes he didn't. But wins away. Anyway, my landlord, I guess, didn't like it. And so he was like, you know, I'm going to have to double charge you for utilities because he's here all the time. And I'm like, okay, well... You know, like, I, it, nothing in my lease is that I can't have visitors, so that's stupid. But, you know, he really was like, well, it, it's either that or you're evicted. So it's like, okay, fine. Like, so I paid, you know, the double charges. And so, like, you know, I paid it. It's whatever. And, um, you know, and then my friend left. You know, my friend stopped coming over so as much. And, like, you know, every time that my friend comes over, he keeps trying to, like, double charge me. He's like, what? Well, he uses water. He uses the bathroom. Okay, but he doesn't use $100 extra worth of water. So, I really know. And he's, like, basically, he's doing it again. Like, my friend came over once or twice this month. Actually, more than once or twice. But, you know, the fact of the matter is, like, I can have visitors. Like, there's nothing my lease says I can have visitors. And... <clears throat> They can stay as long as they want, as long as they don't bother the other tenants. That's what's in my lease. Well, not as long as they want, but you know what I mean. Like, as long, but you know what I'm saying? Like, they can come over as much as they want. Like, there is no rule against that. So, really what it is, is that one, when my friend was over here one day, because we, we were going to, we were going running. Well, he was going running, because we had been hanging out. But he was like, you know, can I, I'm going to go jog real quick. Is that cool? So, I was like, yeah. So he goes downstairs and he's getting ready to jog and my landlord comes up and he's like, you know, basically trying to like threaten him and all this stuff. Just trying to be a real dick, trying to throw his little his little authority around. And my friend was not pressed nor impressed or depressed or repressed by it. He was just kind of like, listen, if you have an issue, you take it up with your tenant, not me. And he just, you know, ran, ran on his merry little way. So I guess my landlord kind of has has a thing out against him and like the way he's doing is like well if he's gonna be over here then i'm gonna charge you and i'm like okay you keep singing this same song and you know for the longest time i have just been kind of like trying to keep the peace and just paying it just to be like whatever and my friend has helped me from time to time with the payments just because he is over here a lot but no like i'm taking a stand like this is this has got to stop like seriously like, I'm so fed up now. Because, one, my check that's about to come is going to be not so cute this week. <laughs> because, you know, of circumstances. But it's just not going to be as cute. And, like, I'm not paying all that money. Like, for, for that. Like, that's stupid. So, mm -mm, I'm not doing it. Excuse me. I had to eat. But, no. I'm not doing that. Not gonna do it. Ain't gonna happen. Mm -mm. Sorry. So with that being said, he's gonna be really salty, like come in your eyes, salty. Like he's gonna be really pissed, and that's fine because you know I'm already over it, and so he she's gonna have to get over it. Um, because I'm not paying that. Like, it's just because, like, I know that it's, it's so, like, he's just trying to get over. It's like, it'd be one thing if my friend is just laid up here. I wouldn't care. Like, I just like, well, fine, whatever. But my friend has not been here. I have been by myself for quite some time. <laughs> like, my friend does not live here. And I'm just tired of him trying to charge me, double charge me, just because I have a friend over, like, my best friend does not bother anybody. He is not out. He is not doing anything. He's just sitting in my room hanging out with me. And, you know, like I said, it's he's not bothering anybody. So I'm not I'm not gonna pay you an extra hundred dollars 
so you can go frolic around. No, no. First of all, it's tax season. You hopefully you got a big refund, girl. So you can kiss my ass. I'm not gonna add to that. So you you just gonna have to take what I really owe you and just deal. And if you don't, well then give me back my money and just give me 30 days to get the hell on, cause that's exactly what's gonna happen. Like that's that's the only option. Like either you take this or you give back all my money, <laughs> and I'll just go about my merry way. And I'm not paying you for the, the the months to come. So yeah, I'm just not gonna do that. Um, I'm just not paying that. And he's gonna be pissed. But I have to take a stand. Like it's it's not just me trying to throw my little like this is not a penis swinging contest. It's just it's coming to a point where it's like you know you you're 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 trying to like rape and pillage my bank account, and that's not cool. Not at all. It's not cool. It's not kosher. It's just not right. And I'm not going to. I'm not going to stand for it. Especially when you know. Um. No. Hmm. So anyway, let's see what else I want to talk about. So I don't know if everybody's heard. I'm about two days late in putting this out there, but Don Cornelius has, he's no longer with us. He, if, if for all black people, we, we all know who Don Cornelius is, especially black people who are between the ages of, hell, 60, 70, between the ages of 25 and like 100. You should know who Don Cornelius is because I'm pretty sure you, you, you in some point in time in, in your lifespan you have seen this nigga. But he was the creator or the host of, uh, I don't know if he was the creator but I think he was one of the creators but he was also the host of Soul Train and the host of Soul Train which is like one of the most noted like music shows that cater to African Americans and our music. Like it was the coolest show around at one point. Because you know, it was you tuned in and you saw what the cool kids were wearing and how the cool kids were dancing. And you know, then they had the Soul Train dancers. I mean I used to love Soul Train. Like when I was four or five I thought I, I just knew I was a Soul Train dancer and that was that was like a goal of mine was I was gonna get on Soul Train. And then it kind of went into a decline around like the late 90s, 2000. It just, you know, Don Cornelius kind of stopped hosting. But, you know, he was getting up there in age. I guess he wanted to just kind of enjoy his life. Which I understand. But, um, yeah, then they had all these different hosts. And, you know, it was just kind of like, mm, you know, it just kind of lost its, 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 mm, its umph. You know, it, it really did change once, um, Hip hop and stuff, kind of like it. That was that period of gigs to rap and hip hop. But like honestly, I just what it was is that they didn't really know how to change with it with the time. So, but there. But then again, like I said, but there was a period where niggas weren't dancing. <laughs> you know, they was rapping and, and shit. So, but I think now had it had they kept going, now they probably would have like really picked up because like you know now motherfuckers is making dance music all over the place. Like I know they probably like damn, we should have just stuck those years out, and you know we could have really. They really just needed a whole new makeover, a whole new host. You know, you know somebody who can the young people can relate to. You know, a whole new crew of like dance. They just really need to like revamp the show. Like I think if they had to revamp the show, like they could probably bring it back now. You know, honestly, hell. You know, get you a couple of fly ass dancers. You know, like one or two gay boys, some cute fly girls, and some like niggas that can crump or whatever the fuck. You know, do all that shit that's that's hot in the streets now that can duggy, and just get you a couple of you know motherfuckers like that. And honey, that show will be everything. And then like you know have little dance segments where like kind of like what they did in in um in Living Color, which by the way that's coming. They're they're doing a whole revamp of that show, like a whole new cast, everything. But it's coming back. I'm excited actually. I'm excited but scared because you know it's not. I know it's not going to be like the original. I don't want it to be like the original, like in that sense where it's got to be exactly like it. I just want it to be good. Like I want it to be fresh, new, 
entertaining, good. Keep some of the same things like the fly girls. Keep keep that and the skits and stuff like that. That sells itself. But like, yeah, the whole vibe. Like, I I want the vibe to be like it was, but of today. You know, cause that cause that show was so set in its time. Like it was so 1991 or whenever the show from 1990 to. 94 or 95 or however long it lasted like it was very set in that time like it was very you know it was based around just the energy and the 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 the, the, the freshness of young the young people of that time and that's kind of what i wanted to be that's what i'm talking about soul train like that's what i want them to do with soul train like if they can just make it like capture it of today like you know, make it modern, but at the same time, and add some like cool modern things, but at the same time, keep a lot of those cool elements, like the Soul Train line. Like you just, you just gotta have the Soul Train line. I'm sorry, like you got to. And the Soul Train dancers, you gotta have a couple. Like I said, get you one or two of the kids. You know, so when those you know dance songs come on, they can give you like a cute little, you know, a Vogue down. And then have a couple of crumpers, a couple of freestylers, you know, just, and then, like, every now and then they get together and do, like, a full routine. Like, I'm telling you, like, that should be everything. So, yeah, but Don Cornelius is gone, um, and it's really sad. Me and my mom talking about it, and, you know, it's just sad. Like, you, I guess you just never know what people go through or what they're going through when they're not on the camera, like, behind the scenes, you know, the untold story. Like, you know, pe they're people, and, you know, sometimes life is too much for them, I guess. You know, I, I, I kind of, you know, I understand why some people kill themselves. Like, I do, but I don't. Like, I don't think I would have a, enough nerve to do it. But, you know, if I ever got so depressed, like, I don't think I could ever bring myself to end my life. But, I mean, I understand, I guess, some people just, you know, hey. I mean, like I said, I personally value life. Like, I feel like if you can find a way to improve your life where you don't have to result to killing yourself, do it. But you know, I don't know. I guess I I could understand what would take what would take a person's mind to that point. Put it that way. Um, what else has happened in the news? Or in, oh my God, girl, new birth, my former church home, honey. I'm just once again. I'm thank you God for getting me out of that situation when you did. I stopped going there when I was 16. That was back in like 2002. Thank the Lord. Right before it, way before the shit hit the fan, honey. Because let me tell you what the new stunt Bishop has pulled and Bishop Eddie Long has pulled a new stunt, girl. He has been crowned king. Like he had these, I guess they're Jews for Jesus come. And like he had this scroll and they wrapped him around the scroll and they put him on this chair and they walked him around with four big buff black bucks walking him around this you know the stage and everybody's exalting him and he's having and you know I love Bishop Eddie Long theatrics. I just love it because honey he had this like fake humble face, like he wanted to cry and kinda of sad. It was I guess it was his way of looking humble and like I'm I'm just a servant. But really girl, I just all I saw was your ego being inflated that much bigger and I mean it just really sucks but <clears throat> I kinda said that this was gonna happen because you know of the whole scandal like I say he's gonna get away with the first one you know now if he's smart this will be the first and the last one honey but you know if he keeps these stunts up it's only a matter of time before he he he, he falls back into old habits honey especially now that since Miss Vanessa has jump ship honey and I don't even know what his kids doing they just laying low and I don't blame you honey you just <laughs> lay low just just keep a low profile just chill in your corner of the world of the state of the city and just keep it cute girl don't say shit don't do shit your daddy did enough so yeah like if he keeps like I said if this shit keeps up He's gonna get he's gonna get sloppy. He's gonna get into a, another scandal of the same situation, probably more than likely, and and it's and that one's gonna like fucking end him. Like seriously, I'm not trying to you know be negative or be mean or speak you know like they say speak death into people and whatnot, but I mean I'm just being honest. Like 
it's a pattern and you know that's what happens like with people when they're in scandals like at first you know like the first time especially if they've never done anything like that before the first time they get caught you know and they get away you know you know they'll lay low they'll keep it humble they'll keep it cute for about a couple of months and then I'll say about a year or two later, honey, they get caught in the same shit. Not under a year, really. And like in six months, like they get caught like Mary Kay Laterno. Like the first time, you know, she kind of got like a slap on the wrist. She couldn't teach anymore, which is, you know, that's fine. But, you know, she didn't go to jail. And then like less than a couple of months later, she was caught in a car with the same underage person who she's now married to, actually. But, you know. A lot less than a couple months later, she was caught in a car having sex with him, and the bitch went to jail. Like same situation, like sort of. But I'm saying, like if if he if he keeps these stunts up, honey, that's what's gonna happen. Cause he that basically what he's trying to do is gain back the trust of his 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 flock, and 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 keep them blind and keep them, you know, in his greatness, you know. But really. Or, or it's either going to be that same scandal or it's going to be something. Because I know they've been having issues with their finances. Because a lot of that shit is coming up to the surface too. And, you know, they're trying to keep it quiet and cute. But really, something's about something else is about to happen, honey. I mean, I, 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 you can bet your bottom dollar. And I, just, I really just feel upset for... One, the, the, the kids, the, the, the young men that are involved. I mean, granted, they weren't like small children and they were at a consenting age, but it's just the fact that, you know, New Birth's congregation, like, they're so blind. And, like, they get mad when you question Bishop. Like, they really do. Like, it is like that whole situation with him being crowned king of whatever it is that he's king of like that and it's so uh, it's very culty it's very like y'all girl i'm worried because like i'm telling you the way they were just you know worshiping and exalting him it's like honey i mean if this motherfucker told them to drink the kool-aid 90 percent of that popular that uh congregation would be sprouted on the floor dead girl because they drank the kool-aid no questions asked and it's like you know honey you just can't follow somebody so blindly like it's okay to ask questions like when i was in, a member there i used to always ask questions i mean of course my mom used to look at me like i was on something and why are you asking questions because you don't have no faith it's not that i don't have faith it's just when some don't make sense you know god gave you a brain god gave you logic to use this is this this is this is up here for a reason and if shit don't sound right it's for a reason like you know the longfellows program i always always tell me how she wanted me to be a part of the program thank god that i'm not but <clears throat> like i like i said my last post i talked about this honey if i was in it and i was i mean i, I don't i hate to sound like a whore but uh, you know like trust me tr let's just put it this way if I was getting tricked off the way they were getting tricked off, well, one, because I, honey, I knew I was gay when I was 12, girl. So, about 12, 13. So, me entering the long, pro, long fellas program, honey, that would have just been like, <laughs> okay, you want to touch me for 12? I mean, it would it would have grossed me out because, it's, you know, he's old and he's married, but let me just stop. I sound, I sound like such a slut saying that. But, yeah, I mean, because it's not about money and I, and I sound like really materialistic. Like, I, I'm sorry. I, I, Never mind. I just checked myself. I'm sorry. I had to clock my own tea. Because I sound stupid. Because I was just thinking, like, I'm going to say nothing. I'm going to pay for my college and shit. I mean, but but then, you know, at the same time, I don't know how I would be in that situation. Actually, I can't even talk about it because I, I hold myself up to such a standard. Like, I, I'll probably be on the same. I'll probably just be like them, like, what the fuck, dude? You're supposed to be my father figure. You're not supposed to be trying to have sex with me. Okay. <laughs> but, um, yes, honey, they have exalted him and as king and all this stuff. I'm going to put the link down there so y'all can see it and get into it, honey, and, and just see this 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 fuckery. Because that's really what it is. It's fuckery. And I just, I'm, ugh. Like I said, like, the, the congregation of New Birth, they anger me sometimes because they, they're just so stupid to just follow somebody so blindly and not ask any questions i mean it's like i know he's innocent i know he's innocent no you don't 
But anyway, I'm going to get out of here because I think this is about to go out. Oh, it's not. Actually, never mind. I can keep talking. Cool. Um, damn, 20 hole. I got like, I don't know. But anyway, but yeah, I thought I was I thought I was about to get cut off. That's why I was looking at the time. And I was like, well, let me go. But no, I don't have to. I can keep talking. But yes, yeah, like I just feel really, you know, I'm, they anger me sometimes because they're so stupid. And I, I'm not saying it to be mean, but like, you know, half of these people, honey, like they don't, you know, like it's not like a small town church where you know the pastor and you know the family and you see him at the Quickie Mart and whatever the fuck. No, like he's kind of on a celebrity status. Like he's kind of untouchable because he's got so many people around him and stuff and he's kind of put himself up at this level. So like, yeah, he's very much untouchable. He's kind of like, so you don't, you know, we don't really know him. Like, even when I was going there, I know that nigga. You know, no offense, but I just didn't know him. And so, like, and to hear people just come to his defense, which I'm not saying you should just automatically assume that he did it. But, you know, I mean, my whole thing is, like, you know, I even, even though a part of me kind of knew it was true, because, I mean... It's, it's just not far-fetched. Because, like I said, when I went there, nobody knew how to get into the Longfellows program. And he was just always doing these extravagant things with these young men. And it was just like, it, it was just, it just seemed a little off. And I was like, it just seemed like it was just very off. And I didn't know what was going on. And, you know, if I dared ask a question, everybody looked at me like I was a non-believer. And they wanted to shun me. And, you know... So, you know, I just kind of was like, mm. but when the when the whole thing broke, it was just kind of like, ooh, like, you know, like I kept a neutral until the evidence started coming about. But, I mean, when they, when they started talking about it, it makes sense. You know, it just does. Like, I'm sorry, it just, it makes sense. It's not, it's not far-fetched. It actually makes a lot of sense now. Cause I'm like, why is he giving these boys these nice cars? He's paying for their. I mean, I know that they're, you know, underprivileged. They don't have no fathers, and you know the whole situation, and they need a, a role model. But you don't have to buy me a new car to be my role model. You don't have to take me on these extravagant trips across the world. I mean, I just need a shoulder to cry on. I just need somebody to talk to when I'm having an issue about life. So, but, you know, you know, teach his own, you know. I mean, the whole paying for my college tuition, okay, fine. If you want to do that, I mean, that's cool. Cause I feel like daddies and father figures should help you in that way. Or teach me how to drive and stuff and maybe help me go on a down payment on a car. But it's, it's, it's quite another to just buy me a whole new car, you know, just buy me all these extravagant gifts and shit. Like... I mean, after a while, it was just getting real, like, suspect. It was just like, mm, what's that about? <laughs> you know, it like I said, it's, it's not far-fetched. And, and my mom's like, oh, everybody's persecuting him. No. I mean, not for, you know what I'm saying? Like, not for good reason. Like, you know, this man, you know, he, he he's made a career out of bashing gay people and telling, you know, us that we're going to hell for being who we are. I mean, like I could, like I can recall those days when I was sitting in church and he would get on his rants about gay people, and I'd be sitting there like the microscope, like you know when you put a microscope in the sun over an ant. That's how I felt, and I was just, like I was baking in the sun, girl. Like I was like, oh shit, like I hope he don't know he's talking to me, because honey, yes. <laughs> so you know he's made a career out of telling gay people they going to hell, and here you are doing some gay ass shit with underage people with underage teen with teenagers like not only are you doing some gay shit but you're doing some illegal gay shit so it's like come on like what are you doing and you know it's fair and and now to see this nigga getting crowned as a king it's just like okay like this the stunts are about to get this is just the beginning honey these stunts are about to really get they're about to get more and more elaborate, more and more extravagant, honey. It, it's 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 gonna be like Carnival. It's gonna be like Black Gay Pride, it, honey. It's just it's just gonna be theatrics, stunts, shows, tricks and talents all over the globe, honey. It's 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 about to it's about to really go there. So, 
But anyway, that's enough about Bishop Eddie Long and such. So I'm just going to let y'all go. Have a good morning. I have to go to sleep because I am tired. I have worked in eight-hour shifts overnight. And yeah, I'm ready to go to bed. It's 7.15 in the morning. Yeah, it's time. It's, it's time. Y'all be easy. Bye.